about, I'm putting some words in your mouth. So maybe you can clarify, what do you mean by giving up control to be in control? Uh, and then we'll, we'll dive into why it's so important. That's exactly right. I mean, once you've planted the flag and once you've built the roads, right, allowing others to contribute to the, you know, to the success, to, to really truly lead at scale. I mean, some of those you know, organizations is tens of thousands of people. Like how can, how do you prevent yourself from being the bottleneck? And in order to do so is you have to give up control in order to, to be leading. And mm. once there's an understanding about the direction the organization is going and there's alignment around that that is the right path and there's excitement about going that way, how do you then empower others, fully empower them to, to get there? And many of us understand that concept intellectually, emotionally to deliver on it as much much more difficult. There's all these various desires that get in the way, right? Some of us want to hold on to authority or power. Others of us want to move faster and this idea of bringing others along, well, it takes time, right? You have to slow down. So whatever the reason, so it requires that self-work to allow others to, you know, to elevate and to, to move together, but it really pays off. And we know that from the data. So a couple of years, we ran this study, published it in Harvard Business Review, um, where we studied the succession processes of 75 successions that we accompanied, uh, our firm accompanied over, over time and, and looked at the roughly 240 participants in that process. So these are high performing leaders. They're at the cusp of becoming the CEO of a major organization. I think 50 of them were public organizations, 25 of them and private equity. Um, and we wanted to understand the corollaries of getting the role and being successful in the role. Mm. And what we found was fascinating. So in order to become a CEO, what you need to do is you got to deliver results to the what you do. But then when you looked out three years post the transition, who were the ones who were driving revenue much faster than the others? Who were the ones who were driving profitability margins much faster than the others. It was, it was not those that were delivering results. There was no statistical difference in that measure anymore. What really stood out was their, the ability of someone to collaborate and to influence with others to move that forward. And so it's, it's one of those classic Marshall Goldsmith, what got you here won't get you there. Um, that is truly important in your own transformational journey as a leader. 